Welcome to the A to Z of golf. I'm Simon Dyson. We've come up with 26 videos for your golf. Let's jump into the first one. Right, this video is all about the knockdown shot. So the knockdown shot is so important in golf. I've got 130 yards here into this hole. We're into a quite a nice strong breeze. So for me, 130 yards, I'm looking at a wedge. So a wedge would go probably 140, but because it's into the wind, you're obviously allowing that extra 10 yards. But the harder you're hitting something, the more spin you're gonna put on it. So the wind is gonna affect it even more. So if I went with a full wedge shot, I would really have to manipulate it and try and flight it lower, adding more spin, and I'd probably come up 10, 15 yards short of the pin anyway. So for this, I'm gonna club up twice. So I've got a little eight iron here. So my eight iron normally goes around 165. But the fact that I am knocking it down, I'm taking the spin off it, so the wind will affect it a lot less. So with this, I would probably swing 65, 70%, purely focusing on the strike of the shot and the shape of what I want to hit. So I would stand over this. I would probably put, because I'm only hitting it at 70%, I'd probably stand with my feet a little bit closer and just play more of a punch shot. So as you can see, I would probably swing it around You know, that was only a nice little shot, but it's come out like a six iron. It's, it's not affected by the wind. There's less spin on it. It's just a much safer shot. And it's something that I think that everybody can improve in the game by practicing it on the range, just hitting it at 60, 70%. It's a much safer shot. And it's one that will help you on a windy day, like you can't believe. So go and give it a try. 